Hey, 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 MSK Rat Lovers. Today I'm going to talk about the VBS, the Vancouver Bone Squad iPhone app of MSK Injections. Um, it's been out for a while. I use it on my iPhone, but I want to talk about it because it is really a great app. It has a lot of information about musculoskeletal injections. I use it all the time as reference and I recommend it to all my residents to use because there's really a lot of useful information there. That's all the information that you need about ultrasound guided and fluoroscopic guided injections uh, and I want to talk about it so hopefully you get convinced because in my opinion this is five star rating super useful so let's dive into it all right so let's talk about the VBS rad guy MSK injections MSK injections made easy VBS stands for the Vancouver bone squad these are the folks who created this app this is how you see it in the iPhone app so let's take a look at the app so when you open the app, there's two options, fluoroscopic guided injections and ultrasound guided injections. I mean, this is uh, the way that we inject the joints in MSK. Most of the joints, very few joints we inject by CT. So let's start with the fluoroscopic guided injections. There's a lot of joints you can choose from, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, ankle, and even spine. Let's choose the hip. So when you get into a specific articulation, there is a lot of information that is really useful if you're a resident or if anybody who's doing MSK procedures. It starts with the equipment, talk about the syringes and the needles, the size that they use, the ones that they recommend uh, in their experience, which are the same that I use. There is also a section of patient positioning with an explanation, but also visuals that help you visualize how the patient needs to be, in this case, an internal rotation of the hip. There's also a diagram to tell you where is the entry point and the anatomical landmarks that are important. In this case, they painted green the capsule, which is where anywhere where you inject and you will be in the joint, but also it uh, lets you know of very vital structures that you need to be careful and need to try to avoid. Also, there's information about the clean and the prep and how do you mark the patient or where do you mark it. Also, a picture, fluoroscopic picture of where the needle should be ideally and how should it look. In this case, that is 90 degrees to the bone. You can only see a little dot there. And, and the, the technique that you should use to get the best result. They also have information and pictures about uh, making sure that you're actually in the joint. This is contrast within the joint and the way it should look. It has it for every joint. So when you inject contrast, you don't have to guess. And you're like, okay, this is the way it should look. And furthermore, it has pitfalls. In this case, in the hip, it has a pitfall of injecting the ileo. So as tendon that you feel like you're in the bone, but you're actually injecting the tendon. And this is how it would look on fluoroscopy. But also in the bottom of the app, there's more useful information here in the test tube. Uh, you can find information about anticoagulation guidelines, which is really nice because we, you know, we have patients who are in blood thinners and different anticoagulation meds. They have liver disease or other disease that uh, will get them anticoagulated. And these are all the instructions and guidelines of a patient presents with any of these problems. And you know what to do. Do I need to withhold the medication? Do I need to wait? How much time the patient needs to be off or if you don't have to do anything at all? So it's it's really useful. Then here has information about the medication, depending on what you're doing. If you're doing a steroid injection or um, an, an arthrogram, the dilution that you need for the gadolinium. And also it has the amount of capacity of fluid in the specific joint. For example, in this case, it says the overall joint capacity is 10 milliliters, which is very useful information. Also, it has um, information about indications and contraindications to the study. Uh, in case you need to know when you're pro protocoling the exam. And also, very importantly, has a long list of um, risk and complications and how to manage them. And this is important for several reasons. I think for residents, it's really important to know when you are consenting the patient, to know all these things that you might want to explain the patient. But also, if you're doing the procedure, you want to know that these are the things that could happen, and if it happens, at least you have an idea and know how to deal with it. So all that information is within the app. So let's go back to home and let's choose the ultrasound guided injections. And here you have, again, a lot of joints. You don't have the spine, obviously, but you have all the other joints. And you have a region or a section of technique and approaches, which is really useful. So let's in on the shoulder. And when you go to the shoulder, you have a lot of options, right? Because you can go into the glenohumeral joint, the acromioclavicular joint. 
super criminal bursa, the long head of the biceps, or you can even have information for blocking a nerve, the suprascapular nerve. So let's go to the glenohumeral joint. Again, you have information about the equipment and the needles and syringes that you should use. And in ultrasound, it has the patient and transducer position. How are you going to place the patient for a more comfortable way to do the procedure? And it has arrows and diagrams to, to know kind of where you need to go uh, in the joint. And it also has a, an illustration of the ultrasound itself with an arrow of where exactly your needle should be when you're following it with ultrasound. Again, it has the same information in the bottom about anticoagulation, you know, the medication, complications and all that. Uh, so it's a really, really comprehensive uh, app that has a lot of information for a lot of the joints. And look, in every joint, there's different things that you can do. So there you go. I hope I was able to convince you to download the app and use it as much as I do and recommend it to residents and colleagues that do MSK injections as there is all the information that you need and it's right there in your fingertips. So if you didn't know about the app, now you know. Thank you.